Today on All Things 80s, I'm going to finally get these opened. Welcome back to All Things 80s, and this will be the third and final video relating to these tiny little G1 style transformers. Now, if you recall, the first video was when uh, JC Reese from the UK very kindly sent me the complete set of these. And when I unboxed them, I thought these are far too nice to open up because they just look like a real throwback to my childhood. And I then discovered that they were for sale in America, but in little bags. So I bought a set of bags and did my second video to do the comparison as to what these looked like out of the package, only to find that the American version was much, much smaller and not at all the same product. So having watched that video, Jason from the channel Travels with Jason F., reached out and asked if he could send me a set for me to open to then do the side-by-side -side comparison. Now, uh, Jason has already been incredibly generous and uh, if you could, I'd urge you all to check out his channel and in particular, he's got a couple of videos relating to this wonderful Kenner Star Wars exhibition that's going around the UK. And uh, go ahead, watch his videos, give him a thumbs up, all that good stuff, subscribe, whatever, please because he's a great guy and a great channel. So, Jason has sent me a complete set of these to open, which I've already done, and I'll show you the footage. I, I went at it like a kid, just ripped them off the card backs. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at these in much, much closer detail and see if they are worth a pound. So here we are with Optimus Prime, and as I said on the previous video, the image of this figure on the card just takes me back to childhood and I want to keep it this way. But thanks to Jason, I have the Optimus Prime loose. Now, the, what strikes me is the material used. It's not plastic, it's a rubber compound of some kind. It's got a really strange feel to it. But it does look great. I mean, for a pound, you cannot go wrong. Now, to compare it side by side with the US version, which is obviously a hell of a lot smaller, they are actually identical, which leads me to believe that this may have come from a, what do you call it, like a 3D printing file of some sort, and they've just resized it because it's identical apart from the size. And they have actually used different color for the wheels here, which is interesting. And there's more color on the back of the American one. Very interesting. But anyway, this is a wonderful way to spend a pound. Um, I don't know how much a candy bar costs in the UK these days, but from my reckoning, uh, the American versions, the, these ones were about the same as a candy bar. So depending on whether or not you're watching your weight, you may want to buy one of these instead of that chocolate bar. But anyway, Optimus Prime in the packet, out of the packet, both look amazing and are going to look great on display. So now that we've established that these are in fact made of rubber and are basically identical apart from the sizes, I'm not going to go over every single detail except to say that Bumblebee I think looks fantastic, just like his cartoon version. And again, on display, going to look absolutely brilliant. Now Grimlock's the interesting one because of the whole six, he's the only one that's not shown in robot mode, which I find a little bit disappointing. Um, I was never a huge fan of the Dinobots, and in this instance, I would much rather have preferred it be done in robot form for consistency across the line. But regardless of that, um, again, that rubbery texture, it actually feels really good. It's actually solid. Um, again, no articulation, but that can, that can be overlooked for the fact it costs a pound. Uh, compared to the US one, you can see side by side the difference in size. But yeah, um, despite not being my favorite, it still does look good and will look e extra good on display. So onto the Decepticon Starscream here. Um, again, I really do like how they've done the card backs with the Decepticon colors versus the Autobot colors for the Autobots. Well, there you go. Who would have thought that? But anyway, out of package, again, it's really well done. 
And as you can see here, how flexible that rubber is. Compared to the tiny American one, again, exactly the same, except for the size. Also, I should point out the attention to detail on these things. It's really good, really well done for something this small. So this was Starscream. So Megatron is looking particularly menacing, especially when out of the packet. Um, this is quite flimsy, actually. I've got to be careful with it. That could easily break off. But again, for a pound, what are you expecting? So I really hope that kids in the UK and indeed America with these smaller ones are buying these and just playing with them and, you know, using their imaginations and creating little battle scenes and whatnot. But this one does look good actually. And it's nice to see Megatron like this because whilst I don't keep up with modern Transformers, um, I have seen one or two in the shops where Megatron does not resemble Megatron, which I'm assuming is because they don't want him to transform into a gun. So anyway, that was Megatron. Two. Lastly, we have Soundwave, my personal favorite. And this one I think is just stunning. Um, interestingly enough, and I mentioned this last time, is how they have the, the weapon on opposite shoulders. I'm not sure what the thinking behind that was. Because, as I said, all the other ones, the different scales are identical, except for size. And, again, they've actually put more effort into the smaller one, where you can see here we have the black touches, where that was not done on the larger one, which is rather interesting. But, yeah, this is my favourite, and stand, they all stand fantastically well. But I am going to really enjoy looking at these on display, having one in package and one out of package. So once again, a huge thank you to Jason for sending me these that I could open with his blessing. So those were the Prexio Mini G1 Transformers. And I have to say, there are worse ways of spending a pound. And I keep saying this and I'll say it again. I think it's fantastic that there are items that are affordable to kids with their pocket money. And it may not be a transforming transformer, but nevertheless, it's a very nice representation of these robots and kid or adult alike, well worth having in your collection. So hope you enjoyed that. I wanna say thank you for watching. I wanna say an extra special thanks to Jason and thank you to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from all things 80s.